Keep it short. So first thing, I have recently like been, been just going crazy with Brave Souls. I was planning to spend money. I, I have not spent like anything. The only thing I ever bought on Brave Souls before was a starter pack. Since release I've been playing it and I just really wanted to get that again. So the first day of the second part of the step up multi summon I got Soyfon. Haven't gotten shit after that. Like four or five multis after the Soyfon did not get anything. So, then uh, I started doing, I bought like 500 orbs or whatever, did all the step-ups the next day, and I got Shinji from it, and I got a, a bunch of other 5 stars like Kendo Kenpachi and Momo or something, and honestly, I, I really didn't care about Shinji, I wanted to gain more, but that Shinji is very overpowered, he's going to be OP for PvP, um, he has a dodge ray, and then his third skill is like the Byakuya Vortex, so he's going to be a very strong PvP, uh, just, you know, person to use. And then t yesterday, I don't know how. Like I, j I just did the day before I got this gin. Actually, I did all the step ups again, and I did not get like anything but the blue Biakia and like some other crap. I was having really shitty multiples this entire event. People, I have like about twenty six five stars, and I've been playing since January or February. People have started during the anniversary event, and they got like tw as much five stars as me, just because of how lucky I am. But on a fifty pull, I managed to get gin. And I'm, I was just so fucking happy, like, I'm done now. I don't have to spend any more money. I've spent way less. I spent, like, a fraction, maybe, like, one-tenth of what I had to spend on Dokken to, to try for a Gogeta and not get him. So when I had to spend that little to get all the three new six stars in Brave Souls, I was, I was so fucking happy. But I gotta tell you, never upgrade past five star. Unless you have all the things ready to make that Soul Tree 100% a six star, don't do it. They have worse stats... At level 120, without with like a halfway done soul tree, then they do at the five star 100%. So I'm gonna keep all my five stars until I can fully max them out. Plus the raids are fucking cancer. I did like 28 Hachigen raids, try to max soy fun. Only got three Hachigens to drop, so I'm done with raids for now. I'm gonna try to make sure I get all the strong attribute characters maxed out, accessories, all that. It's really stupid. Um, but where is the third picture? So yeah, this, I'm gonna be using this team. Pretty much just gonna stick with the uh, Soifon, Gen, Shinji when they're all 6 star. I made a mistake of getting my Soifon and Kenpachi 6 star. I would have never done that if I knew it was so bad. It's just the raid bosses themselves are terrible to get. Um, I've been doing, I tried doing co op, didn't make a difference, drop rate still shit, and it just makes it like four times harder. I did solo legend, I did solo, um, it's very hard, expert, whatever it is, and I still did not get it to drop. It just doesn't matter which difficulty you do. Legend, obviously, is going to be a slightly higher chance of getting him, but I still had no luck, and I mean, you have to put way more effort into doing, uh, what's it called, the Legend one, and still not get a chance to for him to drop, so I just fuck, I was like, fuck that shit, I'm done, I just really could, I just couldn't bother with that, it was really annoying, um, but yeah, like, CSB just started, so another special thing is, you're going to see, I've been stacking Vitality, and honestly, it hasn't been that hard, but... It's so much easier for a VIP because you have coupons to spend, as well as you're gonna probably have like a higher girlfriend than VIP zeros if you do console. I stopped doing console. I gave up on that shit. And then you can buy vitality chances. So I usually buy until I can't buy forty the forty vitality chances anymore. I have so many coupons. I just stacked them all since the beginning of the game. I I rarely I never spent coupons on stones or anything. So it's just kind of been there. Um, but yeah, I'm like really excited with Brave Souls. And then another thing is for you guys is that today is the new Bleach chapter, and I was really surprised that they just like skipped ahead, honestly. But Bleach is not ending today. It's going to end two weeks from now. Next week is a break, so there's no manga for Bleach. So the week of the 18th, that's when we're going to have the ending of Bleach. And honestly, it is Shonen Jump's fault for, for this Bleach. Honestly, I think Bleach ending is, is not as good as it should be. It is subpar of what it should be. Um, pretty much that Shonen Jump has a deadline with Kubo and he met it, so he has to finish Bleach regardless of how they care about it. And um, that's just the problem, you know, because there's a lot of things that he hasn't explained. I still am waiting to see, I still really want to see Aizen's Zanpakuto. I want to see his powers. We haven't seen a Shikai or Bankai. We have barely seen anything. All we know is that he does his hypnosis and then he has like Kidos that are extremely powerful. We still need to know what his Zanpakuto can do. I mean, it would be awesome to see a, a materialization, you know. 
but it's just bullshit, you know, fucking Shonen Jump wants to meet the deadline, so they're making him rush it, and it's just honestly going to make a terrible ending. Like, the Bleach anime is probably one of my favorite animes of all time, and it's just getting disrespected. It really is. He has to rush the ending, skipping from, like, everything. He basically skipped through the entire Quincy War arc. There's so much things that he did not explain, and we'll never know either. Um, we're going we're gonna to be fucked like this. Unless the U.S. Shonen Jump gives him, like, an extension, then he can always go back and, like, redo the proper ending, which I hope he does. I really hope so. Otherwise, we're going to have, basically, the ending that we're going to have now. And, I don't know, today's chapter was really a cool thing. Um, it's something different. You get to see, like, what's in the, what happens in the future. So, it really just makes me wonder what the, what the ending of Bleach is going to be. Um, just spending a shit ton of coupons right now, I just realized that. But yeah, like, Shonen Jump is pretty much at fault here. Even though Kubo does have, like, a really weird style of how he does, you know, Bleach and how he thinks and everything. He's unpredictable, you know? Like, you can't predict what he's gonna do. You, you can't predict the storyline. It's, like, so random at times, and he just does whatever he wants. But I think it's pretty much the majority, like, 80% of the fault is on Shonen Jump. It has to be. They're pushing him out. And they're trying to make all these dumbass excuses. Like, they're saying, oh, we got you a special colored cover today for the manga to celebrate the climax. Okay, y'all motherfuckers are ruining climax because the the Yawash fight is already done. I don't think it's a spoiler, considering that he, um, the, if you read the last week's manga, then you already know what happened with Yawash anyway. So, I only wait a week before I spoil things from the last week. And pretty much, it's just, the fight is done with. It would have been way longer considering he didn't have the deadline to meet like 686 chapters for the end of bleach like that shit is so sudden and it's just pretty much because all the quincy war fights were amazing they were all dragged out they had good they had basically good fights and then the you watch one was just a fucking disappointment honestly it was if it really feels like a like a deja vu for when i was reading yamamoto fight you watch it was it kind of has the same feel to it it's really it's just like a really quick fight and I thought it was going to be some, like, super extreme shit. Still wanted to see Ishin's Bankai, like, but it's just, uh, I doubt I'll ever see it. Or will I, will, will, we will ever see it. But, enough about that, so, just so you guys know, the manga is out. Brave Souls has been addicting, but, um, I, I think Brave Souls is a perfect game for me to play, at least. You can play it casually, no need to stre stress out, no need to do events, no need to do anything of that. And at the same time, you also have... Like, the soul tickets come back at a reasonable amount. It's not like Clash of Clans or some other dumbass games where you gotta wait hours to do shit. No. You get a soul ticket every 15 minutes. And let's just say, like, you go away for an hour. And an hour and, like, maybe half or less, you'll get all your soul tickets back and you can play. And that's what I like about Brave Souls. It's like, I can just do my everyday stuff. And then when I get a notification on my phone, I go back on it and just, you know, casually play it out. You don't have to sweat it out or anything. Um... And it's, it's just, I don't know, it's just probably the best Bleach game you can play right now, honestly. I just really like Brave Souls. <laughs> it has a lot more characters, a lot better characters, no no fucking swimsuit, well, no, they do have swimsuit characters, because they had a summer special. I don't know if US had a swimsuit special, though, but Japan did. They had, like, swimsuit soccer and Yorichi, but it's beside the point. No fan service here. The real statement of the video is, I am finally getting my Namaya's Halo today. Finally. I have, I have gotten him from Labor Glory, which was, I believe, April. So, it took about four months to get the sixth mod. Now, that is extremely fast, considering we have Inherit now. If I never had Inherit, I would have never gotten... Nobody would get, like, really high modifiers. It would just be ridiculous for you to have really high mods without Inherit. Inherit makes it so much easier. So, now I have to consider... Since I got Namaya's Halo, and I got Berserk Renji's 5th mod, I am done with those two partners. I do not need anything else from them. What the fuck do I do? The answer is clear. I will stack the god Marshmallow. I will get him fully modded and one-man army his ass. No, this is not Brazil. I ain't doing that dumb shit, alright? You guys would have thought. But anyway. I was about to say, what the fuck? I thought I modified him last night. I was like, why are my fragments so solo? Okay. That's beside the point. So, Kirinji, I have... Alright, I forgot to tell you my strategy. So, I'm done getting modifiers on everybody. Berserk Kirinji doesn't need it. Hikifuni could use it. She has some pretty good modifiers up there. Um, but yeah, I'm using Kirinji to inherit. 
Hiroko, Harry Bell, Yorichi, and Kisuke. The only thing I really want with Brave Souls now is the Ishin or the ha the Harry Bell. That would be pretty much the only things I could get from this step of multi that would actually make it uh, good. But yeah, so um, Berserk Ranger's mod is done with. You know, Immune Silence is really useless. Don't need that. Hikifune's one killed restore all allies free by 100 is really good. Um, this would actually be amazing for the void. If I could get her hit high enough for her to die, and she would basically T1 my entire team for void region. So that's actually amazing. That is really amazing. Plus, her skilling gives everybody an attack buff. She dies, gives everybody full fury. Everybody skills. That's that's amazing, honestly. But it's still it's another six modify, and I know how long it's gonna take. From where I'm at, I have 460 fragments, so another 300 fragments for the fourth mod. So these two mods alone will be like another three months of inheritance. It should be way faster now, considering I have four tavern partners and a Karinji, so five partners in total. So it will be way faster, don't get me wrong. But still at least two, three months before I get that. And then Ballsack. Uh, these three mods are a must. F I will fucking love the sixth mod, honestly. Like, increase all allies attack by 100% for two rounds. That shit... Woo! Considering my Ichibe always dying, this is a fucking blessing. This is a blessing. Honestly, he's not even dying anymore. He's, but he's just you know got a six pack going on and shit. Motherfucker, don't fuck with him. Um, but yeah, fourteen hundred fifty two fragments. So I did figure out this. I was doing my calculations yesterday, and um, I realized that all these Harry Bow fragments can get me the fourth mod, and then I would inherit. I'm not gonna wait till the sixth because it's like another twenty days. So I'll pass on that. Now we have to just get these Gikongen things out. Um, but yeah, you know, just, I don't know. I've been having a really good time hanging out with my friends I haven't seen since before I left vacation. So, um, plus, one of, it's one of their birthday parties next week, so I'll be going with them. Honestly, I've been, been kind of enjoying life. Um, less stress on my YouTube channel because I just pretty much focus on doing one video a day. I don't really do those two, three type videos anymore. Um, the video yesterday was kind of like a random ass thing. I, d I wasn't going to do it. I was saving all the China Battle Reports to do a better video in the future. But I really had no way to upload yesterday. So I had to... Or commentate. I mean, like, I couldn't record commentary. So I had to upload that. Um, I'm gonna... <sighs> I'm thinking. No, I'm gonna do the 500. Fuck it. I don't care. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, I'm doing 500. Okay, goody, 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 goody. So, I was considering doing a 50, but I didn't want to calculate if I, if I if the 50 was enough. So, we'll just stick with this. Uh, let's see, this is modify partner. So, let's just take a look before I do this. Um, my speeds on everybody. Nobody cares about these two. Okay, Hikifune is at 731,000 speed. Now, the problem with the Halo is that I don't think you'll see it reflecting on the stats. It's only when you're in battle, so that's kind of one big problem about it. But it's a huge increase, you know. Ten percent of your speed in battle gets like basically fucking increased. And uh, I need to get everybody's hit rate up. So two fifty four percent, two fifty five. He keeps at two forty two. So the hit rate is not that bad. But I should aim. You should aim for at least like two hundred eighty percent hit, closer to three hundred percent. That's that's the goal. Get around three hundred percent hit. And I'm just stacking Vite because I'm really done with Evos. Like, I was going to go for uh, Renji's ninth evolution so I could eventually um, T1 him in the future with evolutions, but there's really no need for that shit. So maybe I'll go for Hikifune's sixth mod, or I'll probably get Ichibay's mods up first, honestly. Um, I want to make him a lot better, so he's not that terrible at Vanguard. His immune rate is actually pretty good for him. He's, he's getting a lot better. Um, but yeah, the third mod, fourth mod, fifth mod are gonna be all amazing. So I'm gonna do that for my Ichibe. Finally gonna work on that fat ass. Finally. Even though I don't want to, I will do it. Uh, let's just do some other things. I'm not gonna finish off my dailies probably. Or I might. I think I'm almost done, so I might as well finish it. So King of Hollow Souls, we are. We we've been officially done. With Aizen on both accounts, and I'm really happy. I could have probably beat Aizen way sooner on Brazil, but I'm glad I kept it for the your watch special. I'm really glad I kept it there. Um, what stars can I get? So most of our stars are maxed. Let's see what the first star is looking like. 
71,000. No. Aizen, 1,500. Um, what Dante is doing, he basically saves all his Hogyoku Hollow Souls just for the Aizen one. He goes from the backwards, so he maxes Aizen out and all his partners, and then he goes backwards. Because you do get higher stat increments from these, and you might as well just max out the beginning ones from the free uh, 10 souls a day that you get. So that's what I've been doing, basically. You know what I mean? Getting this Aizen start maxed out is fucked up. 5,000 for the last one, 2,700 and 1,500. So I'm just going to do what Dante said. And, like, you know, just save all the Hagyoku Hollow Souls for Aizens. Um, I can't even imagine. Like, that Shining Soul title is just not possible. <clears throat> it really is not. It really is not possible. I mean, I, I hate that every time I go to the Serity Division or the Palace, it takes me to 135. Like, I have to keep clicking back just to do 125. And it's just... It's just like an inconvenience, really. Uh, but, you know, I'm sh pretty sure I should be getting close to maxing out the equipment. Um, I missed CSB for like a day or two. I really did. Um, I should hold second, though. So it shouldn't be a problem, but it doesn't really mean anything to me. And as far as I know, Noob quit. He just keeps dropping in CSB. He hasn't been doing Void Region. He hasn't been doing anything. So it seems like he quit. I could always beat him if I had T1 on the Maya. It's really hard to beat his TSI without T1 on the Maya. Um, but I have a ton of challenge tokens, so we're going to just spend them all on top stones. It should put me halfway to White Ichigo, which I'll be at 6,000. Now, I don't even know if I would get White Ichigo when I get up to him. Like, I really like my Berserk Renji. If I had White Ichigo at the start, instead of that shitty Kensei I picked up, um, I would have just, you know, gone ahead for it. I would have gone ahead... Kept White Ichigo. Probably would have still got Berserk Renji, but I would have had White Ichigo for PvP and like I want to say Hollow Souls because Berserk Renji's damage is insane. But would have had White Ichigo for PvP by now, or even events like Run Three Assaulters, just because he increases Assaulters' damage. But holy shit, we have a lot of top stone or not top stone challenge stones. Now I'm thinking about Naruto when I always do Bleach. So um, how many challenge stones do I have? I'm at six thousand three hundred ninety. So. We are getting close to the Kyoku Suigetsu Aizen. I honestly love this fucking partner. I really do. His skill is so nice. Um, Inal Botan of Server 56 has like the best Kyoku Suigetsu Aizen I've ever seen. A 1.7 mil BP one. And he just does it for fun. So like, shit, I, that's, that would be a goal eventually, you know. Really like this Aizen, but it's just no need for him. I don't need Byakuya. I mean, I could use Byakuya for a Hikifune bond. But I really don't want to waste my stones for that. I would get Kenpachi just because he's Kenpachi, but then again, I have Berserk Renji for events. So it's either safe for White Ichigo or maybe eventually they release something. Like the Equipments tab, I don't know what they're going to do for that. In Chinese Naruto, they have equipment you could buy from Elite Match, which is the CSB over there. So I'm guessing eventually Bleach is going to get that as well. I mean, even the, U the English Naruto doesn't have it yet, so we're still waiting for that. It disappoints me that my, my Brazil account... Has bonds maxed, and then this account can't get anywhere. I need to get T1 on main, and I don't have pure, so it is not going to happen. Just not going to happen. Um, I'm going to just, yeah, finish up the dailies, and then we're going to go straight into Namaya's Halo. So sadly, I'm not going to see the impact. Too lazy to calculate speed as well. It's only 10% of your speed, so let's see. I don't know. Anything? Um... Uh, Alright, so according to the calculator, it should be getting 73,000 more speed. So it puts me over 800,000 with Namaya's Halo. And that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, shit, that, that Halo is really good. Now, I kind of do regret buying Namaya in Labor Glory. Reason being, he was 20k there, but it did give me a lot of level 9 stones for cheap prices. So it kind of paid off in a way, but I was only looking for Namaya. I really didn't care on getting items for him, so it would have been better to get him for 12k gold in like Lucky Draw, which he was in I think a few weeks after Labor Glory, but I don't know, you know, something just told me to get him then, and I honestly love my Namai ever since then, um, just that, just, he still probably has the highest keto attack in the game, by far, his damage is insane, really like him as far as that, but I really have to get him T1, and then I'm going to finally see his true potential. It will be nice to get everyone T1 eventually, you know, Berserk Renji as well. Then the damage in events is going to be ridiculous because Cotton turn 1 is it's a fucking monster. Uh, Regen is just too broken though. 
Um, if you can't really nuke a regime, if you can't go before uh, before regime with a cotton, you're gonna have a high chance of losing the fight. Um, this, the ignite and mutilate scale is way too high. I'm not sure if it's a glitch. It was supposed to be only 30% of your of like the attack, so it's like really way too high to be 30%. Um, it's crazy, honestly. So I can't even imagine for like all the top players if you have like so, such high attack on all your partners, it's just gonna be too scary. But I am trying to transition. I really want to go for the uh, Iron Man Amatsu. But I have no idea how many pills you need. I would inherit Kenpachi level 51, which is probably like 3,000, 4,000 pills. And then I have 1,600 saved up. So I assume you'll need like 10k to go one of those. I'm pretty sure it'll be like 10k to go Gin or Iron Man. The reason I want to go Iron Man is because of supports. But then at the same time, I could go Gin. It's really not that much of a difference. It's just you're getting keto defense and then here you're getting physical defense. So, the physical defense would help out towards those, you know, Berserk Rangy Nukers and people, if you stack, like, Strength Stones on your supports, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, basically help you out. Um, take a look at that Ultimate Battle Power, though, like, Berserk Rangy. Don Vente had 30k yesterday, now he has 32k. Honestly, it seems like he won't get it in time. He has 7 days, but even if you do get, like, a 1,000 Vitality within the next 9 days... You're only gonna be at like thirty six thousand, so you're still gonna be short unless you start buying the the things from gold. They start giving you more crystal fragments. So I don't know. Hopefully he gets it though, because it's it's always a waste. Um, shit, I didn't do cultivation. I'm gonna do that later though. My bags are pretty much full out, or they're pretty much full, and I don't wanna mess with that. And I kind of gave up on doing console. I don't know. The one click console still takes gold. I thought it was coupons now. But for the next girlfriend, you need 44,000. And I got the ghost upgraded when Labor Glory happened, pretty much. So that was in May. No, in April. It took me from April to like a few days ago to get. Not a few days ago, a few weeks ago to get Miki. So it's gonna take twice as long to get this girl. Fuck that shit. I ain't dealing with that. That is way too much console each day. Like, even though you could just auto click it and get most of your chances done at the same time, I'm just, I'm just way too dumb with that. But at least you get, I get 9 chances of vitality for stacking, so... I assume I'll have over 10k vitality by the time next Ultimate Battle Power comes out. And I'll just save it for when they actually bring out, like, a Demon Ichigo or something cool. If they do bring it out. I doubt they would, just because he is 40k gold. Compared to when Retsu Kenpachi was around 10k to 20k. And then Berserk Renji holds his price around, like, 12k, so... Before, he used to be on discount, but now, now I doubt you're going to see him for less than 12k. Uh, but we can finally get on uh, to, what's it called, to the modifies. So, we have her inherited, we have 1600 modify fragments. And we will finally get this modify. Um, damn, we need 600 of these. Alright, so let's get this going though. We need to get these geek Um Let's see, how many should we do? Probably get 200 more. How many do we need of the basics? Oh my goodness, we need, oh, we need a shit ton. I've been stacking this over. I could get some Rayatsu levels, maybe like two Rayatsu levels, maybe three. At the same time, I don't need it. I really don't. Um, it's really expensive, so I've been stacking my silver. You know, I have three billion. If I ever do switch partners for whatever I decide to drop, whatever I decide to change, I should be fine to get them at least like 120, so it's not a bad idea. Um, but let's finally get it. After so long, we have the sixth mod. We finally have it. And yeah, like I said, it's not going to change my battle power or anything. It is just going to show in battle. So, getting 10% extra speed will put Hiki over 80k. Um, Namaya should be closer to 400k, I believe. So, it's really good right now. Ignore invincibility will be good against Hikis that are faster than me, but I really don't face. Hiki Funis are faster than me. I haven't done Hokumundo in so long either. Um, I have really been lacking in that. I have not done Hokumundo since like the beginning of last month. I've just I'm just too lazy to do it. I really am. Uh, but I, I want to get that Nozarashi, so I'm gonna start going for that. Maybe I don't even work on Gay Boy or Ichibei, whatever marshmallow. Maybe I don't work on him. Maybe I just save all my modifies towards Nozarashi and then decide to stack him. You know, but. Getting him over block cap is going to be pretty hard, so 
Yeah, I don't know. I like Ichibe. I mean, he has good potential, but he needs to be mounted out. So, uh, but that's everything I gotta say. You know, Namai looking sexy, looking sexy. I really want to get him third reincarnation, but I'll wait. When I get 140 on Namaya and Berserk Renji, then I'll get the third reincarnation going. Um, that's gonna be a lot better. This way, I can always plan to get. 140 sets and not have to worry about leveling them back up to 140 because right now they're going to drop to 117 and that's kind of a big deal so I'll just wait till you hit 140 then do them and it's going to be nice you know that extra damage plus that, that pink aura is just so fabulous but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed the video um, a lot of cool stuff happened so I'm just, I've just been in a good mood recently you know I've just been in a really good mood but I, I will see you guys tomorrow Hopefully I can get something that could top this video today, because honestly, I did a lot. But, yeah guys, thank you for watching.